Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and it's time for our monthly roundup of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine for the month of February 2021. This is a monthly series in which I pit an AMD and a, an NVIDIA GPU. If we built a uh, six card rig out of you know either six 3060s or six RX 5700 XTs, you know, how's the profitability for those particular GPUs as well as like what are the top 10 are and I do this every month and I will continue to do it just like I did for 2020 and then we will finalize the data at the end of 2021 to identify what was the most profitable cryptocurrencies you should have been mining for that year or for that month now you may be asking why why would you give us data from the past well if we can look at the past indicators data and information it will help us draw conclusions for possibly what we need to mine for the future so let's get right into it. Again, we are comparing uh, six 3060 Ti's against the AMD RX 5700 XT. If you're new to this, what to mine is not the only data source or data point in which I'm getting my information, but um, it's it still can help you identify what's going on. So for AMD off rip, our top 10, without a doubt, we all know Ethereum is the one, of mo one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine at this time, whether you're AMD or NVIDIA. So we already knew that. But the top 10 are Ethereum, Ravencoin, Grin, CT32, BitTube Cash, Xano, remember Wimblecoin, CT31, um, which by the way, that, that CT31, it's giving me issues on my 3060. Let me know in the comments below of if your 3060 is able to mine Mimblewimble Coin CT31. I mean, according to the data and what I'm seeing in the charts, that's what it's saying. Uh, but I don't think that miner is actually working. So that one's kind of a gray area. After that, we have Joys, Beam, Ferro, and Eternity. But if we, we took Mimblewimble Coin out because the 3060 Ti can't mine it, um, then we would have to bump Haven up as far as in the top 10. So just to recap, Ethereum, Ravencoin, Grin CT32, BitTube Cash, Xano, Joys, Beam, Firo, Eternity, Haven. Those are your top 10 for AMD. I remove Wimblecoin, obviously, because of issues that I'm having particularly. Let me know what you're getting down in the comments below. On the NVIDIA side, we're uh, seeing the top 10 as Ethereum, without a doubt, as a number one, BitTube Cash, Firo, Conflux, Eternity, Mimblewimblecoin CT31. Um, so again, taking into account that the 3060 can't really, is having issues mining that, we're not really counting that. Tent, Joys, Beam, Ravencoin slipped a little bit with NVIDIA and Swap. All right, and we've seen a, 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 an increase in uh, the profitability for Bitcoin Gold and Bitcoin Z. I haven't seen Bitcoin Gold in a while. But just to recap, Ethereum, BitTube Cash, Firo, Conflux, Eternity, Tent, Joys, Beam, Ravencoin, and Swap. Mimblewimblecoin is being removed because the 3060 Ti is giving me issues mining on it, and I don't want to compare it um, when one card is kind of getting stuck on one. But Tent has been growing as far as profitability and has been pretty consistent across the data that I got. So let's take a quick look. What is Tent? So Tent.app is the website. I'll have it linked in the description below if you want to do your own research, which I recommend. But a cryptocurrency ecosystem designed to make crypto accessible, simple, and secure. A coin to trade, a wallet to save, a card to spend. Now, the website is really well done. Uh, it does have a payment card, which makes it a little bit easier to convert your tent into uh, or spend the tent to pay for online shopping or, or other purchases that you would make with your normal card. Uh, they have an application uh, for Apple Store, Google, so on and so forth. So that they're doing pretty good as far as getting their, uh, their cryptocurrency out to the masses uh, in very simplified ways, right? You know, your, your cryptocurrency, if you want it to be successful, it needs to have an app that is available on mobile devices, needs to be easily accessible from any device. Um, and when you start adding payment systems or the capability of using it as payment in the real world, uh, that really can help your cryptocurrency. But I, I, I'm not gonna say go on and start mining this. 
let's take a look at a couple other variables. So on coin market cap, um, you know, the time they started recording this data was around July 10th, 2018. So 10th uh, has been around for quite a while and obviously it's been there through that run up. Uh, the all time high looks like to be 21 cents. We recently peaked, which is why the profitability has gone up throughout the month of February. Uh, but we're having a, a pullback right now. At the lowest, it was only one cent. So let's look at the markets, and it's only available in certain markets. So that's a, that's a little bit of a problem for me specifically, but it may not be for you. So Stex, uh, Mercatox, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. And you can see that the trading volume is really low. Um, most bots or algo bots would not execute trades um, unless it hits a certain volume, like 500,000 or above. But yeah, the volume is pretty low. They have been pretty active on the GitHub, so that's pretty cool. Uh, as long as they continue to develop, and uh, they have been somewhat active on social media. So those are uh, quite a few things that I look into. Obviously, you know, I would recommend doing a deeper dive looking into this particular project, but it has been one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine for the month of February. Will it continue? I don't know. Uh, currently, with the current market downtrend, it may slip as far as profitability goes. You know, right now it's sitting around 12 cents, but who's to say? So definitely do your own research. I'll have a link to the official website um, down below in the description, but you can easily find them on CoinMarketCap, check out their GitHub and Twitter. Those are the things that I look for in a particular cryptocurrency, especially one that starts to blow, uh, pop up on my radar, so to speak. But that's uh, pretty much it for the month of February. Just to recap one more time on the AMD side. Uh, the reason Mimblewimble coin is not being counted is because the 3060 Ti is giving me issues um, mining that particular algo. So I wanted to remove it uh, and, and play fair or keep an even playing field. But on AMD, the top coin to mine is Ethereum, Ravencoin, Grin CT32, BitTube Cash, Xano, Mimblewimble coin CT31, Joys, Beam, Fero, Eternity, and Haven. I know I said Mimblewimble coin, forgive me there. Um, but yeah. These are your top 10 if we exclude Mimblewimble coin, uh, which the RX 5700 XTs can mine. Uh, and then on the NVIDIA side, Ethereum, BitTube Cash, Firo, Conflux, Eternity, Tent, Joyce, Beam, Ravencoin, Swap. Those are your top 10 with Bitcoin Gold making a, a pretty increased uh, run throughout the month of February. Will it continue to march? Well, stay tuned. We'll find out what the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine for the month of March were and we'll see how things play out for that particular cryptocurrency but that's gonna do it for me today guys do me a favor on the way out please hit the like button subscribe for more content like this and check out everything in the description below for various parts affiliate links to help out the channel as well as um, links to hardware that I would recommend some of that hardware may be hard to grab especially for mining hardware but go ahead and check out the links and then you can search for whatever part you're looking for. You guys have a great day. Take care and thank you so much for watching.